वेलकम टू इंडिया टुडे दिस इज अनिता ब्रिटो इन कॉन्वर्जेशन विद द टीम ऑफ मास्टर माइंड बिहाइंड इटरनली कंफ्यूज एंड ईगर फॉर लव हाई गाइज वेलकम टू इंडिया टुडे फर्स्टली हैप्पी वुमेंस डे टू ऑल ऑफ टीम थैंक यू आई वुड लाइक टू बिगिन बाई आस्किंग वेन डिड यू ऑल फील इटरनली यू नो ईगर एंड कन्फ्यूज फॉर लव Each one of yours. When did I feel it? I, I think I'm still eternally confused. Yeah. I'm still love. eternally. Yeah, I'm still, still there. Eternal. Yeah. What about the others? I think um, we're all still there. <laughs> I mean, I'm certainly still there. I I don't think this is one of those things that leaves you. I mean, it's always kind of floating around. I yeah. think. Uh, I think I am still that. Eternally confused. Uh, yeah, I mean, eternally confused. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Constantly at a crossroads, wondering what to do next. all right uh i would like to ask the director what was the idea behind coming up with this series and how did everyone who is sitting here come in the picture um so i actually wrote the series uh, when i came back from college uh, and i realized that bombay as a city was very similar to the college i was in in new york uh, and i realized that there's a lot of like there's dating there's romance so many things happening but it's not explored enough i feel like in indian content so that's sort of what i what i wanted to like explore um and i have been working with excel entertainment and then tiger baby for pretty much the last 5 years so when the opportunity arose and they asked me if i wanted to make something i had a script ready <laughs> so i just sent it over to them and they liked it and that's how it that's how it happened you all have always you know been part of uh, people like you know you you all encourage uh, new directors you all you all are part of that uh, what was the uh, what was the reason actually uh, for being you know uh, encouraging him and you know asking him to be part of uh, i mean he worked with us on made in heaven which is a, a season 1 which was a very very tough uh, tough uh, job actually and uh, uh, he was outstanding at what he did and uh, he has a very very uh, clear unique voice and you can y- you'll 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 pick that up I- in one conversation with him i find him hysterically funny every time i'm around rahul i'm laughing and uh, he's got a take on things he's got an eye he's got a perspective and uh, th- uh, and when you meet someone that has a voice and if you know that there there's a director there uh because that's all you need you need a point of view and he has a very very unique very original point of view and uh so for me i knew that he's going to come up with something uh good i didn't realize what a good writer he was till i read his material i just knew that he'd have ideas but uh, once i read the material i mean i read his episodes like pam 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 you know just in one sitting uh it was easy it was breezy it was heartfelt it was honest and it was funny so um uh, for me it was I-, i always knew there was something about the guy but when i read the material i knew that i wanted in what about anything that you all want yeah same i think very early on in one of the you know when we were sitting on one of the story sessions of mih1 rahul did come up with certain ideas which made me feel like he was uh, a very keen and like he had a, you know there's a very sensitive mind and uh having you know worked with him i felt like he would make a good director um no i just second what uh, reeman zoe have said and i think um uh, on a slightly uh, um uh, larger level um i i think it's also important to uh, keep your ear on the ground you know for for new talent yeah. um we've all been very fortunate you know with with people who believed in us when we wanted to make our first films you know uh, and make and tell our stories that somebody out there believed in us and and gave us an opportunity gave us a platform produced our work you know to be able to do it um and and as a part of that giving back you know it's 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 really important to also be able to be now now that we've been working for all these years um to be in a place where we can allow other people okay. you know that freedom and that opportunity to come and express themselves um and i just feel really proud to be a part of this you think ott uh, in this last two years ott has boomed in a different way and that has allowed uh, new ta- talents new you know actors directors everything what is uh, what is your take on this completely uh, different change that we are facing right now i think it's the best time ever i think it'll be booming it's the best time ever because you uh, you have everybody like creators and storytellers have ideas that lend themselves to features and theatrical features There's, there are some ideas that you know are more niche that you know th- those films will not 
require such a big budget. There are certain ideas that will be long format. They need eight episodes to tell this person's story. Certain things are short films. Suddenly we have access and a platform to be able to tell any kind of story we want. And uh, it's the best time ever. You know, I mean, and it's not just the platforms, it's also the technology. I mean, people are making films on their phone and putting it up on YouTube. So right now, it's the best time to be a storyteller or an actor or anyone because it, you're out there, you're getting work, everyone's working, and I, I, I can't think of anything more exciting. Yeah, I completely agree. Sorry, also, I, I feel a little bit of credit here needs to be given to Netflix, you know, to platforms like, like Netflix. Um, because they, again, they allow different stories to be, to be told. You know, um, there was a time where people had ideas and had stories, but there was no way of getting, getting them out. There was no, no avenue. You couldn't theatrically release them because it was too niche or who'd come and see it. You know, it's not massy enough or it's not commercial enough. And TV has a very different audience and a very different take on what kind of stuff works on TV yeah. in the GEC space. So what Netflix has done is, is created a, a, a very unique new space. You know, uh, and they've been adventurous and they've been brave in letting people come and tell the stories the way they want to say it, you know, without fear of, um, oh, who's going to star in it or, you know, there's no big director. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, yeah. You, it's, it's the content that matters eventually. So that also has played a huge role and I think a lot of, a lot of credit must be given. Yeah, so I think... Global doors because yeah. you're alongside the best of the world and anybody can access your work. Yeah, you know? yeah it's totally energized the scene, I think. Yeah. You know, the advent of OTT platforms like Netflix. Yeah, and it's given the audience also just a bigger variety of things to choose from. So instead of, you know, uh, <laughs> believing that the only thing you like is the only thing you get to see, now it's suddenly the menu is much uh, more varied. And so I feel the audiences are also consequently getting just better educated and smarter about what Exactly. Yeah. You know, and the thing is that, I mean, of course, like the obvious ones are like for writers, it's a, it's a big deal. You know, uh, for directors, it's a big deal. But what a lot of people don't realize, even for actors, it's so liberating. Yeah. You know, because you're so constricted in certain formats um, and in certain uh, ways when you make a film theatrically, because there is only that much that you're allowed to do. You know, otherwise, you know, it's going to run into some issue. You can't speak a certain way. Yeah. It'll be edited or it'll be bleeped. You know, and, and this gives you the freedom to kind of play characters and to do things that you won't get an opportunity to do otherwise. So it's also very liberating from an actor's point of view. I think that is why, you know, most actors are venturing into OTT platforms now without any fear of being typecast or being, you know, just said that this is a TV ka actor. Hai. Pehle waise bahut hota tha. So people were, you know, uh, not ready to uh, feature in, in television shows and all. What's your take on that? where people are ready now, actors are ready. I mean, the world is changing and uh, Netflix is at the forefront of that and I feel that it would be foolish to not go along with it. Anything? No, I, I completely agree with it. They also said, you know, uh, OTT is here, but uh, theatres will not run if OTT is here because people are, you know, uh, watching uh, shows at home at their convenience. Uh, but that has changed with Gangubai, Surya Vanshi. People are going to the theatres. Where theatres are running, even the OTT platforms are running smoothly. How do you feel about that? They have been trying to shut theatres down from <laughs> when TV started. So uh, they should just stop this narrative. Uh, when television came, they were like, theatres are done. Then video came, they were like, theatres are done. Then home theatre came and they were like theatres are done they need to stop theatres are not going to be done it's a They'll completely different done. experience yeah. It's a completely different experience. I want to go see a movie in a screen, which is a community viewing. I want to see it with people. I want to see the large screen. I will watch it. I want to watch a show in my room. I want to watch an episode when I have free time. It's a very personal experience. I mean, they, they, they're not interchangeable. So I don't think it's ever going to be done. I think it constant. They, they just, and I've been asked this question so many times at this point that no, sorry, uh, no offense, but uh, like even about theater, about OTT, about this, about you know being in different uh, uh, formats, formats being, uh, and it's always constructed as a this versus this and this versus this. But I don't think there's any need for a versus or a competition there. I think they all should coexist and they all should learn from each other. Like I think theatrical releases should learn from uh, the way long form storytelling is done. And I think long form storytelling has a lot to learn from being able to uh, have a beginning, middle, and end the way a film does, you know, it's just they have to keep they have to keep making each other grow. I don't think it has to be one or the other. Mm -hmm.